ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, um, Happer over here, uh, he's created, uh, that thing, and it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of glitching out right now. I have no idea why it's looking like that, but oh well. But anyways, Happer over here has managed to create a flippin' mutant blaze today. I mean, look at that thing. It's giant. It looks like it has armor, like obsidian armor, kind of. And it's just like, it looks like a little, like, dust devil sort of. It's got, like, a little mini tornado under it. Maybe that's why it's floating right now, but... Either way, today we're going to be putting it up against a few mobs, and um, yeah, it's just going to be pretty cool, so we're going to have ourselves a fine little uh, mob battle today, and we're going to see how strong the Mutant Blaze is, and I just realized he's, the Mutant Blaze is looking at us right now. He's, he's, look, he's looking at the camera. Anyways, the challenges for the Meats and Blaze today are in this chest. And as you can see, we have a zombie for the first one, skeleton for the second, giant spider, wither skeleton, skeleton warrior, rocket creeper, evoker, vindicator. And then we have two bosses for today, which is the Meats and Skeleton and the Meats and Creepers. Okay, our first battle for today will be the zombie. So let's go ahead and spawn him in. And he's going towards the Meats and Blaze. And oh my gosh, he is. Yo! What the f- No, Happer! Oh my god, I mean, well, Happer will respawn, actually, so it's fine. But, but Meets and Blaze just destroyed the zombie, and dude, he's, like, leaving fire everywhere. Happer, you're standing in the fire. Get out of the fire. Happer, what are you doing? Get out of the fire. Thank you. Happer. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just got- There. There, okay? Now you're no longer on fire. Okay, for our second round, we have ourselves a little skeleton here. He has a mob spawner on his head for some reason, and he's shooting skeleton. He's shooting arrows at him, not not skeletons. But this skeleton has 90 health, actually, so I think this might be a boss skeleton. I mean, I mean, he's, he's wearing a mob spawner on his head, and that's a little bit, uh, I mean, that's, that's probably a dead giveaway that they're a boss, but, dude, he is just getting destroyed right now. I don't even think the skeleton is, uh... Yeah, he's not even within range of the freaking meets and blaze anymore. So, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and spawn in a second skeleton. I just realized that I placed my chest a little bit too close to, uh, the, this, this, uh, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. But, dude, we got a skeleton knight on a skeleton horse right now going straight after this meets and blaze. And, um, what, what, what's even going on right now? Is that, is a, is a skeleton horse shooting arrows at the freaking Mewtwo Blaze? Because I know it's not the skeleton knight, because he's using a sword. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like that. He just set the skeleton horse on fire, dude. What the flip? All right, time for the third round. The giant spider, here he comes. He's coming up against the, uh, Mewtwo Blaze, and he's kind of, he's kind of on fire right now. Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, the giant spot. Ooh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just got destroyed, dude. How about we throw in two, uh, throw in two giant spiders right here? Maybe that'll, that'll be a little bit more fair. I mean, they're still gonna get absolutely destroyed, but, you, you know, still, maybe just add, have a little flavor of a fighting chance against the Mewtwo Blaze. Although, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think there is much of a fighting chance at all because Mewtwo Blaze just just fireballed him to death. Okay, for the fourth round, we're gonna have a Wither Skeleton. He's moving in right now. He's gonna probably whack up that Mutant Blaze a little bit. Now, uh, this is a little bit ironic because they're both Nether enemies, and yet they're fighting each other, and dude, okay, the Wither Skeleton just got destroyed. You know what? Let's spawn in the second Wither Skeleton. Yeah, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get annihilated too. You know what? You don't even, you just, I'm, I'm just gonna let the Mita Blaze just take you out really quick. Let's throw in a third Mita Skeleton. There you go. Dude, this dude's like armored the flip up and he has a bow somehow. I have no idea how a mutant, or a, not a mutant with a skeleton. Although, hey, I could probably make that a thing though. And he's way out of range. He only has one health left. So if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna, uh. All right, it's time to move on to the Skeleton Warriors. Now, if you don't know what these dudes do, they can use bows, and then they can switch over to swords really quick. And their arrows will actually afflict uh, weakness on them, but, uh, yeah, that, that's not very effective against the Mutant Blaze. Maybe let's throw another one in here. And Okay, we have a boss in here, and he's Cinder, so he can shoot these little fireballs, which I don't think are very effective against the Mutant Blaze, because, well, I mean, he's, he's a Blaze, and shooting fire at the Blaze. The fireballs do one damage, too. They're literally weak as heck, and the Mutant Skeleton, or not the Mutant Skeleton, although that, he's coming later, but the Skeleton Warrior is already dead, so, I mean, yeah, I didn't really stand a chance against the Mutant Blaze. Our next round is gonna be a lightning round really quick, but I just wanna see how he does against the rocket creeper really quick there we goes and uh yeah it did dude he did like 38 damage to the mutant blaze but you know it's, pre it's pretty much nothing for a mutant our next round is an evoker let's go ahead and summon him really quick is that an axe i think he's using an axe um i don't i don't think that's normal 
but he's summoning a whole bunch of Vexes, and the Vexes have like enchanted swords and stuff. Um, the Misa Blaze might have a bit of a problem here, but hopefully he'll the Misa Blaze will be smart enough to take out the Evoker really quick because uh, he's not. Yeah, he's kind of getting distracted by all the Vexes, so this might be a quite a long round if um, the Misa Blaze doesn't realize that this dude is the problem. Stop! Stop fighting the Vexes! Get destroyed! There you go. Okay, we just got a Fireball thrown at the Evoker really quick, but dude, he's like, dude. He's like way out of the range for the Evoker. The Evoker might actually destroy the Misa Blaze. We might actually have ourselves a bit of a fair match here. All right, so, okay, whoa, the Misa Blaze is just shooting fireballs at the Vex, but the Vex is, okay, well, maybe he's not that quick. I think the Evoker died by a cactus. Um, I, I, I kid you not, the Evoker has died by a cactus. Our next round is the Vindicator. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in two Vindicators, though. Okay, one has an enchanted Iron Axe, though. And, okay, the Meets and Blaze. Ooh, he's in trouble. Ooh, he's in a lot of trouble. Two health! Two health! Oh my gosh! Oh, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Meets and Blaze, five health. Oh! He took out the Muted Blaze, the Vindicator won. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and respawn the Blaze really quick. But as you can see, I'm just going to check out his loot really quick. As you can see, the Muted Blaze dropped 52 Blaze Rods. So if you defeat the Muted Blaze, you're pretty much covered. Uh, 15 Fire Bombs and a Blazing Sword. 8.5 damage and uh, sets the entities on fire for 8 seconds. So if I were to you know, hit this Vindicator, he's going to be on fire. And then he'll... Yep, he's, he's dead. Okay, it is time for the boss round. So our first boss today is going to be the Mutant Creeper versus the Mutant Blaze. So we got two mutants going on here. A little bit of a mutant battle. The Mutant Creeper just hit an explosive slam. But the Mutant Blaze just straight up shooting fireballs at the Mutant Creeper. So, uh, yeah. But the Mutant Creeper actually seems to be way lower in health than the Mutant Blaze. So... Yeah, the Mutant Creeper only has 120 health, but the Mutant Blaze has 200, so at the end of the day, I mean, you, you, you kind of know it's going to win, but the Mutant Creeper's about to do its like, little explosion, the Mutant Blaze might, ooh, 79 health after that explosion, but the Mutant Blaze is still alive regardless, so. Alright, it's time for the next boss round, we got the Mutant Skeleton going in here versus the Mutant Blaze. Now, they're both capable of doing range attacks, so honestly, I'm not sure who's going to win. I mean, probably, probably the Mutant Skeleton, if I'm being real here, but I don't know. Ooh, you better not destroy that chest. I mean, then again, this is like the last spawn egg, so I don't really care if, if the Mutant Blaze destroys the chest at this point. But uh, the Mutant Skeleton is going to go ahead and shoot that Mutant Blaze up a little bit more. The Mutant Blaze, in terms of percentage of health, is way higher than the Mutant Skeleton right now. Um, I don't know why, but the Mutant Blaze isn't really attacking the Mutant Skeleton all that much. Like, he's literally... Okay, never... Just never mind. He just shot a whole bunch of fireballs at him. Okay, he's shooting a lot now. Dude, what the flip? The Mutant Blaze was hesitating before. I think he was, like, charging up a whole bunch of, uh... Yo, just destroyed the Mutant Skeleton with a barrage of fireballs. I was like, why is he not shooting? But I think it was like charging up a whole barrage of fireballs on the Mutant Skeleton. And that's gonna not do it for today's video. You thought that was gonna be the end. Nah, boy, we got a special round, and that is a Mutant Enderman. Now, these two should be fairly matched because they're both at 200 health. So... Honestly, who's gonna win? I don't know. The Mutant Enderman's capable of teleporting out of the place. He, uh, Mutant Enderman also has, like, little, um, extra projectiles he can use with, like, the sand blocks he's picking up. And he, as you can see, he's trying to teleport away from the attacks, which is working somewhat. But, uh, the Mutant Enderman, ooh, he's taking, he's taking quite a bit of damage. I don't know. But, um, the Mutant Blaze is, uh, hasn't been shooting fireballs for a little bit. Never mind. He's start. yeah, okay, he's shooting a lot now, dude. Uh, meets an Enderman is taking, ooh, yeah, he's taking quite the hit. But he's, t he's trying to teleport all over the place to attempt to not being get, like, hit by the meets of Blaze, at, like, at all, but... I don't, I don't think it's working that well, because he is just, dude, he's getting destroyed. He's getting absolutely annihilated, dude. He's gotten fireballs thrown at him. He's at 10 health. Yeah, 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 and he's, and he's, yeah, he's about to die. If the Mutant Enderman can get in and do his little scream attack, ooh, is he gonna get in? Let's find out. Uh, no, okay, he's apparently a Mutant Blaze uh, avoided the Mutant Enderman's final attack, so luckily that won't be too much of a concern to him, but, um, yeah, there you go. That is the Mutant Blaze. Anyways, that's gonna be all for today's video. If you liked, make sure to leave a like, dislike if you didn't like it, subscribe if you want more content like this, and that's gonna be all for today's video, and comment your mob suggestions down below but that's gonna be all for today's video and i will see you guys next time bye bye